Breaking news. That breaking news coming out of the Middle East. You're getting a look now at the missiles raining over Israel after Iran launched a retaliatory attack on Israel. The Israeli military says they believe about 180 missiles were launched at Israel in the attack. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps says this attack focused on Israeli security and military bases and was in response to the killings of leaders of Hezbollah. According to reports, no one was injured in the attacks. Israel warning of serious consequences after this. And we're getting new reaction from Alabama Jewish leaders on on this attack. So let's go right to our breaking news reporter Taylor Pollack live in the newsroom. You spoke with the CEO of the Birmingham Jewish Federation. What's his response to what's happening there? Yeah, that's right. The CEO of Birmingham Jewish Federation, Danny Cohn, says that while today's missile strike was slightly unnerving, it did not come as a surprise to him. Cohn pointing to Israel's recent airstrike on Hezbollah, which killed their leader. Cohn says he's confident in Israel's technology like the Iron Dome and David's Sling, which were designed to protect Israel from missile attacks. I'm thankful for modern technology. Um, I know that there's always a chance that they're going to hit, and I know that um, we have to be prepared and people were sheltering in place, um, but I am very confident in the missile defense system that Israel has, and I think that uh, what happened today just showed Israel's capabilities. And the strike comes just days before the one-year anniversary of attacks on Israel by Hamas. Cohn says the Birmingham Jewish Federation is continuing to collect donations and provide support for Israel. Back to you.